How's it going everyone? Welcome to the next part of my E30 build. Right now what I'm looking at doing is, probably see in the back, the rear screen. Um, my E30 actually has the rear screen that is sewn into the actual rooftop. Now, in order to get that fixed, you either need to buy a new rooftop, or you, which is gonna be expensive, or you buy a rooftop from a later model. Now, considering mine's a 1992, quite surprised it doesn't have the later model um, rooftop, but the later model ones have a zip that goes around it, so you just gotta un undo the seal, undo the zip all the way around, and then zip the new one in, seal it all up, happy days. Or you take off the old top, buy a new piece, and then get that stitched in. All of those to me sound quite expensive. So I had an idea that I'm gonna try. Um, so I thought, why not have you guys joining with me, which is I purchased one of the replacement zip cons. Ta-da! So this is what I plan on doing. To that. How's that gonna work? Well, I got some continuous zip. It's five meters long. I think it is. I think I only need four meters if that. Um, now I'm gonna sew this into the back part of the seam for the um, the roof, and then I'm gonna do the same as it is with the later models, which is add some seal to go around it, get it all stitched in, um, zip it all up and then call it a day. Now this is slightly smaller than the actual space required to um, need to be covered. So what I'm gonna do now is remove the old one. As you can see, it's quite um, interesting here. If you look here, everything's nice and tensioned, but over here, it's all nice and loose. The reason why I bring that up is because when you, I, I finish, I gotta make sure that it has as strong of a um, tension seal to it as possible. If I'm driving around on motor or anything like that, you know, I don't want it to be moving around a lot. So the more tension there is, the less flex there is. So that's one of the things that I wanna keep an eye on. Um, being that this is slightly smaller, that means that when I, so in the new zip, it's gonna to need to be the right distance all the way around for me to actually be able to do that. So what I wanna do first is zip on the new zip to this. No wait, sorry. First what I'm gonna do is my zip. It's not that cold yet, but it's not that hot. Um, but finish removing the old one out. It's really simple, it's just literally removing the stitches. Um, that hold it in and then just basically remove and get and then zip the continuous zip onto this see what the actual spacing is like and then we can actually go from there so for now let's get to it you can see why my old one was way past repair. Got cracks there, cracks here, cracks there. And it's just incredibly dirty, so. Goodbye to that one. That kind of looks so much better. The new screen, by the way, has these overlapping zips here, so that's there. The new one starts here, so it basically zips all the way around, then it ends up just past it there. Just something in case you guys are worried, wondering how it's going to work. So, I've never actually done anything to do with zips before in my life. So I am literally learning at the same time as you guys. 
So as you guys can see, this is what the old zip is, well, the actual screen comes as. And that's basically what I'm doing, adding this bit on. That is now going to get stitched into this seam here. Or well, that part of the fabric there, um, all the way around. I'm just having a look to see how much space I have to play with, as well as once it's actually there, what it's going to be like. So, oh, look how clear that is to look through. Huh. If only you could stay that clear. Just for the record, by the way, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm usually guessing as I go along. I'm just hoping my guess is educated enough. After switching up my style, I've started to use the staple gun and just Stapler. Yeah. I'm gonna fit it up from there, all the way across, up to there. Just gonna give this a quick try, test it out to see how it actually all works right now, and from there decide how I'm gonna carry it on. Need my actual little zip thingy, whatever it can be called. That was working fine until as I started to unzip it that decided to happen so the zip some car with an exhaust going by I think they just wanted to be part of the vlog but yeah that has decided to break itself off so what I would recommend if you are going to be doing this is making sure you get some strong zips because But it looks like it was working fine, which is good news. More than happy with that. So I'm gonna carry on doing it, get all the way around because because the way I'm starting it, where it starts off from the center point, I'm gonna need to make sure I align it perfectly. So I'm gonna probably need a second pair of hands when I actually do that. And then I can just carry on going from there. So for the time being, and leave it as it is and carry on working on it so so basically finish it all off right now wait for my brother to come down it's gonna actually help me with installing it so fingers crossed i did a good job um <laughs> that's not always that encouraging to say is it but yeah uh i'm hoping everything's come out okay just gonna basically try and fit it all on and we'll go from there so right now I'm just waiting I'll record the actual installation to see how it actually works and if it does work so it's stapled on some bits are stitched some bits are stapled um, right now what I'm looking at doing is I need to go inside the car to make sure bits of that some, uh, some bits haven't So that didn't work. Um, I'm gonna try something different now where I'm going to remove the zip that I've just installed because that was a waste of time. Um, I'm gonna zip it onto actually this and then with some help from others, 
I'm gonna hold it in place, stitch it all on, then unzip it, then stitch it all on properly. Reason why I've had the problem is as we came to the corner bits here, the corners are different angles on both pieces. So this one's a bit more of a, um, a sharper edge than the way it actually is on the card at the moment. So that caused a bit of difference with that. So thought best way around it is take it all off, zip it all on. So then I know exactly where the zip should be and then fit it on from there. So time to get that bit done, peace. I think I've actually figured out something that I might do. So um, what I have been doing with the car for the time being is actually stitching in the zip in um, screen because I've noticed unless I have like three or four people holding it down with me, it's too hard to get an accurate measurement as to where I need the zip to go. So I'm about to show you guys what I have been doing. Right, so it's very roughly zipped in. I mean, I'm sewn in. It's literally like whatever for the time being. Um, so what I've done is I've got this fabric pencil. I'm, I'm trying to do is figure out roughly where the zip comes up to um, when I stretch it out and everything to make sure it gets a really nice tight fit. Man, I don't want it sagging this much, if at all. So I'm just getting some pencil. These are like fabric pencils, uh, dressmaking, yeah. Good thing when you have a mom that used to like doing all these sewing thingy majiggies so yeah that's what i've been doing i'm just gonna carry on with that see i got a new zip arriving tomorrow which is gonna help me because my last zip was i think the the number rating on it was too low um making it so that i can't actually zip it on so waiting for that get that started on and finished hopefully tomorrow because the zip shouldn't take that long to sew in and then call call and get a day with the zip on the screen um should be really good you know I'll, can't wait because it's going to be such a big improvement compared to what it was like that's the one thing that really let the car down you know even with the arches and everything it was fine the screen just looked horrible so yeah wait for that tomorrow time now peace New zips arrive everyone, so quickly gonna take out the screen from before. It's gonna be fun. So a lot of times trying to even get this part in so far, so uh, a bit more interesting having to take it all off. Stop the recording here for now. Gonna carry on. You guys gonna find this boring anyway. Peace. So as you can see, I've got the right zip size to go on the actual new screen. So I've created a size, created a bit extra, just to give me some extra space. But this is really good. Good progress. Now I'm just gonna put this on to the actual screen to make sure I've have the starting points at the right area or well, not at the actual screen on the actual roof now and then we will go from there so let's get this party started so now it's a good time for me to quickly measure it up so as i showed you the pencil lines that i drew on earlier i'm gonna see if this actually ends up near that well, I'm to as much as i can Yeah. 
that have made two points for me. Um, basically, in the center of the actual car. So now I'm just going to take the zip out, start sewing it up, following that line, and then it's basically ready to be installed. It should be a nice tight fit. I might actually go a little bit wider from the, the line that I've drawn just to make sure it's an extra tight fit, man. And then I'm done. Happy days. So everybody, um, I was there working on my sister's 535. Yeah. Uh, I'm sat inside of my roof. Well, yeah. Um, I thought this was, a, I just figured out something quite cool when it comes to actually doing this to your car, if you are gonna do it. Um, and I'm just gonna show you guys what I found. So as I'm stitching this in, I've realized that the zip line what you were uh, focused on it so the zip actually basically runs the same area as where the old stitching was for where the screen was um, sewed in through so that's basically where you want the zip to go once you've stitched it in ah, why do you keep these in focus that's where you want the zip to go um, as you're doing it I'll just find it easier to actually just sit inside the car and just sew all around myself instead of trying to stand on the sides but yeah um the only bits that are different is the corners the bottom corners are quite a lot of a difference different angle completely um but done this side just about see it i think they're going to be quite annoying when it comes to actually zipping it up but yeah something interesting for y'all that's it car is done um, well not the car the zip sewing is done now I've just got to basically zip it all in so I'm just gonna get all that done I'm gonna show you how it all looks so that's it that's it all zipped in all the way around up through this gap here as well so basically, apart from knowing it's been done, you shouldn't really be able to tell it's been done. So, because once it's all sewn in, it'll basically close up like that. So this bit here, it overlaps itself like it does there. So just gotta get that on now. So moment of truth. This is the only bit that I'm worried about, which is which way I've zipped it in from end to. So, see you guys in a minute. Wait. Maybe not see you in a minute, maybe. Maybe let me actually get the second part, the actual screen. Start it in with the zip, that might be a good idea. This probably would be a lot easier if I had someone else with me, but my brother's just gone to get a C clamp because we can't find our one. And he needs it to do the brake pads on the 5 series. That's it, it's on. It's done everyone. I'm gonna move that down. Screen is on. In all fairness, I could have tightened it up a little bit more in the corner um, to get it a bit tighter fitting. But then maybe a little bit of flex is good in terms of actually being able to tuck it away into the... Um, tuck it away when I actually come to Put in the top down or something like that. Now all I'm gonna do is I've got some double-sided tape. I'm gonna go along here to make sure this all seams together. 
and then we're calling it a day with that so pretty happy this is a very cheap fix I think the screen cost me 80 pounds and then the zip ended up costing me around five pounds so then gotta get the needle and some thread I think it's taken me two hours to stitch that in and that's it all done yeah I think this would have either cost me if I had the um, screen removed and then had a new bit stitched in it'll probably end up costing me a few hundred pounds and a lot of hours as well to remove it all my little niece is calling bear with me guys I'm gonna make this into a little bit of a commercial okay I didn't warn you. Is your convertible rooftop looking a bit dated? Has it got holes the size of a fist? Does it just not let you look through it anymore? Can't see nothing through there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you the new screen. So that's it guys, I got my screen in now. Yeah. So, with the little um, commercial style selling point or whatever I'm gonna call it. That was my old screen. Just left it on the floor as obviously. You guys can see just how bad it was. This is my new screen. Considering that this is a convertible rooftop that was sewn in screen. I've managed to upgrade it to a zipping one. Yes, I'll admit there are some things that I could do to make it better. Um, just by having a bit tighter of an actual fitment, that can always be altered. Uh, I have the ability to alter that later on. Um, right now, I'm, it's not the top thing on my priority because there's still a lot of other things that I want to get done to the car. That's just more of a finishing touch. But I want to see how it affects the um, convertible rooftop when I go to um, bring the rooftop down is it actually better to leave it a bit more flexible um, or is it better for it to actually have a nice structured fitment um, but for the time being this is what the car is actually looking like kind of see just little bits and pieces going on with it um, but yeah that's the car right now